had a great start, but so has Charlie Dawson, pushing his way through the middle. Where's Chalk? He's having a battle with Hermeson Tucker. So Dawson goes into the whole shot position. Seth Kajorik right next to him as they work their way through. And it's changed hands again because it's 0 2 9. And Jack Haynes is now putting pressure on Dawson. Henry Sullivan in a foul ground. Luke Kajorik takes it after him. The Dawson going through at the moment. It's pressure still coming on from the 0 9 of Jack Haynes. And the 1 1 8 of Seth Kajorik. There's your order at the minute. Can it change hands? Looks like Kajorik's making a move now. Dowsey driving his way through. Looks like he could be getting the win. Sullivan having a little battle over Drew. Nine and ten euros in our world. Well, we're all the commentators on this and just sit back and watch the action unfold. And it is Bibby and Jackson heading down the fluent boys are gonna go one and two into the turn. Oh one well, round against it wrong. Isaac Smith's in there in three of the minute looking very strong at the moment. Leo Rollins in five, Joe Rock in four, Marcus Bullen in six, Bell in seven. It was Tompkins who got shuffle back to eight. But James Bibby, mid-length BMX club, in and out of the final turn. Don't count out though, Benny Jackson, he's gonna chase him down. The fluent boys, they're gonna go one and two. The centre Smith in three. Leo Rowland in four. Oh, right. Oh, right. It's a tap out of the game. Santa Great shot on the race. Flyer, Poppy Bay Kirby also looking good. Lenny Corden has had a solid day today, but it looks like Grace Jordan in that whole shot position as she drives her way through that first straight. And it is Lady Corden, there's the 954 of Elizabeth Lola Paul off on her tail as they go into that second third. Corden still driving through and opens up a little bit of a gap now as they work their way through. But here comes another contender, it is the 7-9 of Grace Jordan. She's had a solid day, can she make it count down that last straight? And Lady Corden working hard, pumping her way through the last straight. Grace Gerard working hard as well, and Poppy Bay Kirby trying to get back in. Well, the win is going to go to Lady Kirby. <laughs> Guppy's right in there with him, Elvis Lawrence getting in the mix as well, Harry Bailey inside the top four, uh, that's Ethan Rogers going through five, oh, two riders have hit the deck, their race is over, Lawrence still in there in three, but it's Harry Donald well leading it out now, he's out there in front, Donald, Guppy, Lawrence, Bailey, Rogers out front and clear, just depends what order they're going to finish in, Harry Donald still holding on to it, Guppy's winding it up down the final straight, getting ever closer, Donald, Guppy, to the line, comfortable in two who is in the three that is the sixth plate no it's not it's the four eight four Matilda Shukuru as they drive into that second but Jelaya Patel still holding on at the moment to Koa Saka working hard to close that counter Matilda's working her way into three as they go into the last turn where is that turn for Morse I think she's worked her way into four to Koa Saka now putting the pressure on Jelaya who is going to get the win Jelaya
up by Amos Cup, he's going to get this one, Neil called it right, who's going to get the two, Cameron Cook, Harvey Tomlinson, and Thank you. 
you again for supporting the Birmingham Winter Series wherever you are heading. Have a safe journey home.